Hey, what's up, everybody? So I just want to do a quick video in regards to um, a question that I get from time to time. Uh, somebody in one of the groups, they actually asked it yesterday. So I just wanted to, to do a video. I know I've done videos on this before, but it tends to be a question that's um, asked you know, quite a bit. So I just wanted to do another video and I'll title the video on my YouTube channel, uh, Credit Monitoring. So um, the question is, um, how do you sell credit monitoring? You know, the answer to that is we don't. You know, we, we offer, you know, we do business lending and you know we offer you know other affiliate products one of those products being a credit monitoring service and we do it for two reasons um, one would be you know it's important to get to know what your client's credit report is um, you can't always take the word for you know from the client you're speaking with you know a good example was somebody that was on the phone with uh yesterday said their you know credit was like you know high 600s you know we're looking thinking about, about an sba you know, file came back, you know, it was like high 500. So it's like 100 points, you know, difference from what they actually had said. So um, that, you know, you when you do stuff like that, you waste your underwriter's time, you waste lender's time. And if you do that a lot, you'll get canceled by the lender. So um, that's why it's important to get somebody's, uh, you know, credit file because you should only be sending files to different funders where it makes sense. If it doesn't fit within their, their box or their guidelines, you don't want to send it to them. Um, because you're not, you're going to end up getting canceled eventually. So, um, the other you know, reason why we get them to pull their credit is because, um, we get paid on it. So there's different affiliate offers that are out there and there's a number of different credit uh, monitoring companies, um, out there as well to where when you sign up somebody using a link, then it tracks back to you and you get paid for it. So, um, one of the companies that I use, you know, they pay a residual, have another one that pays out like a, an upfront fee as well. So. Kind of have to just look out there if you want any um information regarding who i use i'm happy to send it over to whoever um you know just reach out to me and i can do that um so when um you know what uh the one for example who sends uh that does a residual you know they they uh, pay i believe seven or eight bucks a month that, you know when the people keep it um so you're not talking about credit monitoring and selling the benefits although there are good benefits to it you know you're not doing that we do business lending the, you know, like I said, we just need to get them, you know, get a credit report from them. So um, when the way I approach the credit monitoring, the way I um, rep, you know, I, you know, I let the client know that we need a credit report is, you know, when I'm calling the client, I'm hearing what they uh, need. I'm telling them what I do and I let them know what I'm going to need back from them. Uh, and then I send them this email, this email here. I need an application, four months of business bank statements, and then an updated credit report. Now, you don't want to make it sound like it's about credit, uh, you know, all the time. If you do that, you're going to lose a lot of credit repair sales and, and you know, most people are not going to send you out over anything because, you know, if they if they think it's, you know, it has to do, you know, 100 percent about credit, they're not they're going to shy away from you. They're going to call somebody else that says, hey, we'll get everybody approved. They're just going to fill out an application with them. So what I say to the clients is, you know, they, they do check on a few things regarding, you know, personal. However, we try to keep everything for the business. Um, if you have an updated credit report that has um, that's recent within the last you know a week or two, and it has all three uh, you know credit bureau uh, scores, you can send that over. If you don't, I'm going to include a link with an email to if you click on it, you could um, pull it yourself. It just costs you a dollar. You know, it's one of those monitoring sites. So if you don't like it, um, you just cancel it. Otherwise, it's just um, you know it's like I said, it's just one of those monitoring sites. So I'm real like I. I like just skim over what I need to say. You're not telling them to cancel it out. Don't do that because you'll get canceled by the credit monitoring company. Um, the retention rate on it's like 70, 70%. So it, it's, it's actually, it's pretty high. So people do keep it. Um, so that's what I, that's how I um, sell, you know, credit monitoring. Um, you know, I've seen as high as like, you know, it was like 20, I think my highest year for credit monitoring was like 24,000. So, and then add that. That was when I was, I was running a lot of Facebook ads. I was doing, a lot of leads that were coming in that were bad um, leads. So I was like, "Hey, I got to make this work. I'm going to make it. I'm going to sell a lot of credit repair, credit monitoring." It was like 100 grand I made that year just off of those two little products. So, so that's how I sell. You know, like they said, that's how you offer credit monitoring. So I hope that's a good explanation for those of you that have uh, questions on how we offer credit monitoring. Hope that helps. If anybody has any additional questions, feel free to reach out. More than happy to help. Thanks. Bye.